welcome to Forensics Detect Design, Dr. Koji Kashmir Kash Detect, and today we are talking handheld vape detection with a handheld vape detector. Check it out, folks. You see that? There's the side profile, and at the back, you can see all the grills, very porous, so all the vape particles can go onto the sensor efficiently. In the other side profile, we have the Type C USB port. The unit has a rechargeable battery, lasts for up to 24 hours, and the nice thing is, is that this guy is super sensitive. We're talking detection of PM 1.0, PM 2.5, and PM 10. What's that, Dr. Koz? That is the particulate matter, vape particles that come from vaping, and this guy detects the large range of different diameters. So what that means is that this is the most sensitive vape detector on the market. Simple as that folks look at that now what happens you hold the unit you go into the suspected area that you believe someone has vaped it could be your children's room it could be as a principal it could be the school bathroom as an employee it could be your place of work and you are looking for levels to rise to give you the differential values folks from a fresh air environment to a polluted vaped environment that's the way it works, and I describe that in the manual that you get with this little beauty. Now, we have a vape over here, folks. I'm gonna show you the values. You could see the values. We're looking at about 15 p.m. 2.5. That's the large value in the middle. Dr. Koz just took one puff of this vape. Now, Dr. Koz doesn't vape, of course, but you could see how sensitive and how fast this handheld vape detector responded. You see that, folks? Now, we have a mute button. Let's just mute that for the minute, and you can see the numbers now going down. Dr. Koz, you breathed and vaped straight onto the sensor. That doesn't represent a real situation. Of absolutely, it does not represent a real situation, but you get an understanding of how sensitive it is. When one does vape in a room, what happens? It dilutes, folks. It dilutes because we have a volume of space. That's the first variable. The second variable is there could be ventilation that further dilutes. And the third variable is how much one has vaped. It could have been one puff, just like myself. It could be 50 puffs so those are the three variables that determine if you will detect any vape at all and if you do by what magnitude folks that's the way it works okay now look we're not talking a fixed ceiling vape detector we have these and that's a separate product this is the handheld vape detector and with it it comes in a nice little box over here within the box you get your recharge cable and you get your manual it comes in a nice little pack just like that so everyone's happy now if that doesn't make sense not a problem and if you're not happy with a product we have a 30-day money-back guarantee and a one-year warranty so we want everyone happy and everyone detecting what they specifically need to detect to get the job done folks that's the way it works here at forensic Detectors. Till then, be well, be safe, and see you soon.